Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Pophology. In this video, we will see what is Little's Law, what is the importance of Little's Law and an example to understand Little's Law formula for performance testing. Before proceeding with the load test executions, it is very important to plan your test, to have a full control over your test results. As per client requirements, a workload modeling needs to be done prior to the execution for more accurate performance test results. Little's law play a vital role in workload modeling. So let us see that in detail. In general, Little's law is number of items in the system equal to arrival rate into response time. The same formula in performance testing becomes average number of users in the system equal to throughput into total execution time. In short, n is equal to TPS into total execution time. Further drill down of total execution time is response time plus think time plus pacing. Let us now understand each of the parameters of the Littles law formula. n is the number of users. TPS is the transaction per second. If you have TPH that is transaction per hour value divided by 3600 to convert it to TPS. RT is the total execution time of a script that is end to end execution time of script without think time and pacing. Think time is the total think time in the script which is sum of think time between all the transactions. And PT is the pacing time which is basically a pause time between two consecutive iterations. Let us now understand the Littles law formula with the help of an example. So suppose my client has told me that he wants to achieve a TPH that is transaction per hour of 3600 for fund transfer scenario. So I will convert this TPH into TPS. So to convert into TPS, I basically need to divide the value in the TPH by 3600. So I need to achieve one transaction per second. And after my fund transfer scenario was created, uh, I will do a single iteration of that fund transfer scenario, excluding think time and pacing. So let's assume that the response time which I got was 20 seconds. The total think time across my scenario is say 20 seconds and I have specified a pacing of 5 seconds at the end of my fund transfer scenario. So now we have these values. So on the basis of this value, using the Little's law formula, we can calculate how many users we will require to achieve 3600 TPH. So as per Little's law, users is equal to TPS into response time First, I will also specify a bracket over here. So, response time plus think time plus pacing. So, the value of users comes to 45, which means I will have to do a load test with 45 users to achieve a transaction of 3600 in an hour. So this was an example to understand Little's Law formula. I hope you understand it. For more performance testing related videos, keep watching our channel Pophology. Thank you.